Of the two outer protective coverings of the tabernacle, we read only this. You shall also make a covering of ram skins dyed red for the tent, and a covering of badger skins above that. Exodus 26, 14. Some suggest they were merely utilitarian, only there as weatherproofing, with no lessons to teach us. At the very least, they show us God is practical. But there's more. We've noticed that only priests saw the tabernacle's inner beauty, and believers as priests today can also worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Psalm 96, verse 9. Similarly, only God saw the covering of ram skins dyed red. The ram was called, quote, a ram of consecration, Exodus 29, 22, and speaks of God seeing his son's consecrated heart, his willingness to become a man in order to die for humanity. This is illustrated in the red dye, or perhaps reddish colored wool, where the word red here is Adam, and yet the word for ram means strength and points to our Savior's suitability and availability in providing a covering of salvation for us. The covering of ram skins fits exactly with the grand saga of salvation. The first mention of the ram was its inclusion in the sacrifices that laid the basis for the Abrahamic covenant, Genesis 15, verse 9. The second mention of the ram was at Moriah, where it was God's provision as a substitute for Isaac. Jehovah Jireh provided the sacrifice in the Mount of the Lord. There was one fact about the many sacrifices made on Jewish altars that did not satisfy the Lord. Not one willingly consecrated itself to God. That's why we read, sacrifice and offering, burnt offerings and offerings for sin, you did not desire, nor had pleasure in them, which are offered according to the law. Then he said, behold, I have come to do your will, O God. Hebrews 10 verses 8 and 9. It's wonderful to join with Paul and say, the Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20. More broadly, we can declare, Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Ephesians 5, 25. Wider still, we proclaim, he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. 1 John 2, verse 2. But we realize the highest view of the cross is this. Christ offered himself without spot to God. Hebrews 9, 14. God must be satisfied, and he is, proven by the resurrection and exaltation of his Son. A final note on the outermost covering. There's uncertainty regarding what animal is meant. Badgers aren't native to the region. Some suggest seal skins. Most scholars think they may have been dudong, a sea cow, of which many can be found in the Red Sea. If so, the waterproof leather would be, at the same time, most protective and most unsightly. Looking at Jesus of Nazareth tabernacling among them, the Jewish nation could say, as a root out of a dry ground, he has no form or comeliness. And when we see him, there's no beauty that we should desire him. Isaiah 53, verse 2. You only see the beauty when you're in him. One thing is sure about the kind of animal skin, however. The same kind of leather was used to make shoe wear. God says to the nation of Israel, I clothed you in embroidered cloth and gave you sandals of badger skin. Ezekiel 16, verse 10. Isn't it interesting that the people donated this leather for the tabernacle? Yet God says 40 years later, your sandals have not worn out on your feet. Deuteronomy 29, verse 5. They hadn't needed to keep it in reserve for replacement shoes after all. 
There is a divine principle here. If we take care of God's business, He'll look after ours. <laughs>